starting in uh, 1999, I retired from Microsoft and I gave me a lot more time to cook. And to, while I was cooking, I started learning the state-of-the-art techniques that people were using around the world. And I realized that there was a tremendous number of techniques, there's a tremendous amount of knowledge about cooking that was very hard to learn. I knew it was hard to learn because I was trying to learn it myself. There's one guy who'd know one little piece and one restaurant that would have one insight and one technical paper that would tell you something else. But it was very hard to get a comprehensive overall view. And so I realized uh, about 2005 actually that there was uh, a lot of this information and if only it could be brought into one place and put together as one cohesive whole, uh, it would be amazingly powerful. More powerful than people realized looking at little snippets of it. That taken together this information could be the foundation of cuisine in the 21st century. To write modernist cuisine, we reviewed both the cookbooks and we interviewed chefs from around the world to get every high-tech technique we possibly could find. And everything that we know about is in the book. That includes very modern techniques, including hydrocolloid gels, foams, special emulsion stabilizers, things that can be used to create either traditional food in a different manner, or it can be used to create food that is totally untraditional, food that you wouldn't think is possible if you're only familiar with ordinary ingredients. Some people who buy modernist cuisine may buy it for the photos and the information. They may not even cook from it, and that's okay because we can give you an insight into food and we can show you beautiful food pictures in a way that's unlike any other book. Another set of folks are gonna buy modernist cuisine because they wanna cook from it at home. Uh, I think at least half of the recipes are gonna be pretty straightforward for people to do at home. And of the rest, I think half of those, you know, so up to maybe 75%, you can do with just a little bit of effort and maybe getting a little bit of equipment that's available now at any cooking store. That last 25%, that's hard. But that's because some of the folks that buy this book are going to be professionals. We think it's Im an important resource for professionals who get to learn techniques and things about food that you really couldn't learn any other way. I also think there are people at home that are going to find it pretty interesting that they're learning alongside some of the best chefs in the world. Uh, that page by page, they're seeing information that isn't dumbed down. It's information that was made to be at the highest professional level, but things that are written in a style that they can grasp.